This conference will now be recorded. Okay, so uh, we'll be starting our next topic, that is batch determination. Okay, so the the topics that we are going to cover in batch determination, there you will understand what is batch determination, batch determination overview, then batch determination in logistics, how this batch determination is used in logistics processes, you will see. Then batch determination in production, in the production, how the batch determination is used. Okay. Then batch determination customization to so to do the batch determination, what configuration settings we need to do, we will understand that. Then master data for batch determination. What is a master data required for batch determination? What master data we need to maintain? And then batch determination for production in production order. So how this batch determination process is executed. In the production orders in the pp so we will see this in this batch determination topic okay so first we'll start with the batch determination we will understand what is batch determination basically okay so basically batch determination So basically the batch determination batch determination is used in inventory management production sales and distribution and warehouse management so basically batch determination is used in all the all the processes in the logistics okay so what is batch determination it is used to select batches and allocate the same to components in a manufacturing order or in an outbound delivery or in a goods issue or goods transfer in inventory management so basically batch determination is nothing but selecting the batches based on certain criteria suppose let's say you are okay so let's say you have a raw material you have a raw material let's say it is abc123 okay. now it is having box with the batches let's say b1 b1 b2 okay b3 like this these are the batches of the stocks okay now this raw material is consumed in production this raw material now when you when you consume these batches how to pick these batches just like in a sequence or based on certain credit so how to pick the batches is the is the question so that is determined by batch determination okay you need to select the batches and allocate that batch to the component in the order this i will show it in the system okay system automatically system automatically assign the batches to the components based on search strategy and sort rule applied so so instead of we are allocating the batch in the order system automatically assigns the batches based on certain criteria like search strategy sort rule. we will understand this what is the search strategy and what is the sort rule okay so i'll just show it in the system basically suppose let's say i'll, I'll go to the plant i'll take the fund okay suppose if you see here there is a there is a material there is a finished product if you go to this finished product bomb and is thousand bomb you see it is having two material two components one is sulfuric acid another one is some bottle lid okay so these two components are there now when you create a production order when you create a production order let me just create a production order C01. I'll just create a production order.
okay so when i'm trying to create the order I'll send the patch number to the header. Now, if you go to components, here you it is having the batches. It should have we should assign the batch here. So instead of assigning the batch manually, we we make we make we will make the settings in such a way that system automatically assign the batch number only to the components. System only will assign the batch numbers based on certain credit. Okay, so that we are discussing today. Allocating the batch numbers. To the components in the order from the pp side okay so now as determination can be initiated based on fifo fifo lifo or some other criteria okay so now the question is system assign the badges automatically but based on what criteria so the criteria are like this fifo first in first out fifo first expiry first out LIFO last in first out or you, you can have some other criteria that means suppose let's say FIFO means FIFO means FIFO means first in first out first in first out that means the batch which is first received into the plant that has to be consumed first so let's say it is a raw material we are purchasing it okay so the the batch which is received first into the plant that has to be consumed in the production orders first first in first out sometimes fefo this is the criteria fefo means first expiry first out okay so first expiry expiry first out that means the batch which is going to expire soon early that has to be consumed first based on the expiry we already discussed in our previous sessions what is expiry date all those things okay sometimes the criteria can be lifo lifo means last in first out last in first out okay the the batch which is uh, received earlier earlier latest one that has to be consumed first so these are the some of the criteria based on this we have to configure the batch determination okay batch determination batch determination can be triggered automatically or manually in the production order or in process order. so this i will show it in the system so you can trigger automatically or even you can do you can trigger it manually also both options are possible i will show you in the system okay so basically the one which we just discussed so this batch determination not only used in pp they used in pp it will be used it, it can be used in sales sales module sales module it can be used in wm module okay in other modules also so in the entire logistics chain basically okay but we will be discussing batch determination only from pp point of view because we are discussing pp our module is pp so we will be discussing from the pp perspective how to do the batch determination okay so let's continue so basically to do the batch determination what happens is basically when you create a production order or process order when you create a production order in the production you will have the materials in the warehouse in the warehouse you will have the raw materials okay now based on certain st search strategy system will pick the batches into the order Okay, suppose if you see here the material is x component is x it is having two batches 456 b 456 a two batches are there now which one we need to pick into the order okay that is based on the characteristics already we discussed in the previous session in the batch classification what are these characteristics all those things so based on the search criteria system will pick the batches for the component in the production order so which we will see it in the system okay so now basically here you have a batch class already we discussed batch classification in our previous session so it will have batch characteristics like color viscosity acidity and there will be a selection class here okay so on basis on what parameters 
you want to pick the badges so your batch class can contain four characteristics but your selection class can contain only three characteristics i want to pick the badges only based on these three characters selection characteristics so sometimes your selection class also can be same as the batch class okay but we need to create a selection class here we will create that in the system okay so now uh, so to uh, configure the batch determination first we need to do some configuration settings those configuration settings we will do one by one okay so first first you have you need to do some configuration customizing okay so what we need to do is first we need to define the condition tables it's a sequential configuration 